On this week's episode of Tech Review Tuesday, we're gonna take a look at the North Face's Aleutian Synthetic Sleeping Bags for men and women. What's up, Journeyers? Welcome to our channel. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button down Hi. below and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any awesome videos we have coming up. If you are new to our Tech Review Tuesdays, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. If you haven't checked out some of our other videos, we'll put them on the screen somewhere for you to check out. We are so excited about this travel series because we want to showcase some of the products that we use on our travel videos so that you can make the best decisions when you go to travel yourself. Guys, if you're interested in getting any of our gear that we feature on our Tech Review Tuesday, please check out our Amazon affiliate link, which is gonna be located in the description box below. Part of the proceeds will go to help us. So one of the most important items in camping gear that you need is your sleeping bag. Absolutely. Let me tell you what, I know what it's like to be miserable without one. What do we mean by that? Well, let's take a look. Morning. Kelsey slipper an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. Good morning, Kelsey. Eventually I was like, Kelsey, I hope you slept here. well. I didn't, I but hey. I had to grab her. Oh, I was like, like if next Whoa. time I could get more than two hours of sleep, I think I'd enjoy myself a little bit better. It's about 3 a.m. and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm going to night, but then I like, got back in the bed. Cows, we, 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 need, we need to get close. <laughs> and she's like, what do you want me to do? And I was like, we're going to spoon. <laughs> I just grabbed her and I was just like, <sighs> 20 minutes later, I finally stopped shivering. But she was, she was shivering too, so we were both like, <clears throat> oh my gosh. So guys, that was a really, really rough night for us. Um, it was pretty our, terrible. First time in Yellowstone camping, my first time in Yellowstone camping, and I was absolutely miserable. So let me tell you what, when this sleeping bag came around the next year, I was happy. Yeah, I think it was a little bit different experience. It was an entirely different <laughs> experience. So these sleeping bags retail for about 100 to 180, and I know that may seem a little pricey for a sleeping bag, but it is 127% worth it. And I've had mine for going on three years now. Yeah. And we've almost. used them a lot. Obviously they come in a men's, and they come in a women's. Uh, the men's, I have a 35. Uh, they also have a 20 degree. Uh, and the women's has a 35 and they also have a 20 degree. The men's, uh, the 20 degree comes in a nice blue, and I think it's like a gray, if I remember correctly. And the women's is more of a, would you say kind of like a dark turquoise, blue. like a darker blue? Yeah. yeah, it's like a darker blue, also a, a gray as well. And then obviously these are orange and purple. The women's actually has a updated one called the Women's North Face Cat's Meow, which is literally pretty much the newer version of the Aleutian for the women's. The guy still does the men's Aleutian. I think the Cat's Meow sounded a little bit better to them than women's Aleutian. Exactly the same features <coughs> as this sleeping bag. Just different color. Just different color and a different name. This is all personal preference depending on what degree you want. Some people like higher degrees, some people like lower. I actually like the higher degree because I get extremely hot really, really fast. I personally like lower degree, as in the 20, because I get cold very easily. So the 20 degree is perfect for me because I don't have to freeze. Yeah, and, and the only difference pretty much is how thick, thick. it's gonna be. All right guys, so we're gonna tell you a little bit about the different features of the sleeping bag. So first feature is these are our mummy style sleeping bags. What does that mean? They, they do exactly that. <laughs> they fit your head. The whole purpose of it is to have as little exposure for air to come in to freeze you out. So and you also have these little things that actually tighten around your head. Yes, right, to, right by your head like, that you can tighten so keep it, the heat it in, keeps basically. it nice and close. But this keeps it in a nice cocoon shape so you feel all good and snuggly. This is a 30% down synthetic. Uh, and they call it the Heat Seeker Eco Synthetic. Pretty much what that means is it's gonna stay lightweight, but it's gonna keep you warm. All the sleeping bags have double zipper on each side, one and one, that's on the men's and women's, but there is a difference. There is a short zipper, which is on the left side for me, and then a long zipper, which is on the right side for me, um, and that's just your preference. You can, you can get the different 
zippers. You can get them opposite, basically. The purpose of the zippers on both sides is to give you that feel that you're at home in bed. Um, so basically, you could zip it up all the way, keep all the heat in, or you could unzip it to about to this point where it goes. It's about like right underneath the arm. Yeah, the arm. And then zip it on the zip it down on the other side, and then you could fold it down. So it kind of gives you that like you're under the covers kind of feel. Um, so that's the purpose of that, and. Um, it's really nice to have to just kind of feel like you can breathe a little bit more too because sometimes you can feel a little too snug. Absolutely. Depending on what season, these are a three season sleeping bag. That is another feature. These are not meant for deep winter. Uh, you know, like Mount yeah. Everest. You're not going to stay warm in those. Okay. These are meant for spring, summer, fall. You can pretty much get away with any trip that you go on. We have done these in 10,000 feet in 20 degrees and we have stayed completely warm. So the zipper goes all the way around to almost basically the other side of the sleeping bag. So what's great about the foot section is that it kind of has this square shape at the bottom so that it lays flat. So you don't have like, you, I don't know, you just don't Yeah, you don't have there. excess room for it flopping all over the place uh -huh. when you're sleeping. It's gonna stay completely centered. So what's great is you can unzip it and give yourself a, a little bit of breathing room for your feet. And Absolutely. that is a great feature. That's a great feature for summer camping when you still wanna feel yes. snuggly, but you kinda of feel like you're getting in a hot box. Yeah, we usually just pop the feet open and you're good to pop go. Pop it right open. Other thing, you can zip it like we said all the way and just lay it flat and you can literally have it as a blanket. We have done that multiple times. So one of my biggest dislikes for my bag is... I know exactly what you're gonna say. It is so warm, and that's not the dislike. The dislike is because it's the lower temperature sleeping bag, so the 20 degree one, it's thicker. So it does not compact easy. And that is the biggest thing I do not like about the sleeping bag. Yeah. I have to stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. It takes two people with mine because you, it is you, so You've gotten hard. it with, with yes. one, I've but to start, to the point where I can rough. do it on my own, but it is that, I mean, I love this sleeping bag, but I hate that part about it. My dislike, I'm just limited on how cold I can put myself in uh, backcountry situations. So, be it only being 35 degrees, I do get warm a lot, but I can only go so far before I get freezing. For me, just realizing that it is limited in that sense, that I can't push the boundaries all the way to really do some winter camping that, that we really want to do. So if you're looking for some car camping or just some local camping, I would totally recommend this big sleeping bag. It is great for, um, if you want to go to Yellowstone and you just stay at a campsite and you pull your car right up, Tetons, um, She's done some backcountry with it. Just know because it's bigger, it's going to take up a little bit more room in your backpack. Yeah, I so. would totally recommend this one for that. Um, but if you're looking for backcountry camping, I would recommend a smaller one. But the problem is if you're going deep into the mountain. You yeah, are going to need it. It just depends better. on the time of year. Like this, you can get away with probably about 60-70% of the year. But if you're getting into higher elevation, it's going to be cold. 35 degrees ain't going to cut it for you. So you got to go with the 20. Thank you guys so much for checking out our page and coming along another Tech Review Tuesday with us. We had a blast featuring the North Face Men's and Women's Illusion Sleeping Bag. Remember the women's now, it's called the Cat's Meow. Cat's meow. Guys, if you wanna purchase one of these sleeping bags, the link is below. Make sure you hit our link, it helps us out so we can continue doing more videos like this. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos we have coming. Give us a big like and tell us what your favorite sleeping bag is in the comment below. Also, another shameless plug, we have merchandise. That is also in the link in the description below. Coffee mugs, beanies, hats, t-shirts, long, long sleeves. sleeves. Can't go wrong. Check out some of our merch and rep the Journey brand. We will see you guys on the next Tech Review Tuesday. Tuesday. Peace.